So, yeah, you may think the climate is screwed, and it kind of is, but we can fix it. How? For the last 250 years, we've gotten really good at turning coal, oil, and gas into iPhones, heart surgery, and all the other nice things in modern civilization. But coal, oil, and gas release a lot of carbon into the atmosphere, and all that carbon has warmed our planet about 1 degree Celsius so far. And the more we add, the warmer it's going to get. In the simplest terms, modern civilization is basically a 17 terawatt light bulb plugged into a coal power plant. But not everyone on Earth is plugged in yet. And as the billions of people in places like India and China start to use as much energy as the US and Europe, we're going to have to replace that light bulb with one that runs at something more like 30 to 50 terawatts. So not only do we need to find a way to generate electricity without putting more carbon in the air, that source also has to offer at least twice as much energy as we use today. Imagine, if you will, that scientists discover a magical glowing ball hovering near us in space that transmits free energy to Earth at the speed of light. Oh wait, sorry, that already exists. But is the sun enough? Well, the sun is basically a 100 trillion terawatt hydrogen-powered fusion reactor. And if we could somehow surround it with solar panels and capture all of its energy at even just 10% efficiency, we could power a civilization a trillion times the size of our own. And yeah, that might be an interesting long-term goal, but it doesn't really help our current situation, does it? So more realistically, of that 100 trillion terawatts, only about 90,000 make it to Earth's surface. And with our currently available technology, if we really, really wanted to, we could only capture about one-sixth of that. But one-sixth of 90,000 is 15,000 terawatts. That's enough to power a thousand current human civilizations. Or just power the one we have well into the future using a tiny fraction of what the sun provides. So why don't we do that? Well, it's not like you can just plug into the sun. It only shines on half the planet at a time, and we're not great at storing electricity for the other half. Plus, even after you solve those problems, the technology is just expensive. But what does expensive really mean? Fossil fuels seem cheap, but we're only paying half the bill. The rest is basically a loan from the climate. So depending on whether we want to pay now or later, there's a whole range of possible ways forward. On one end of the scale, we make emitting carbon expensive, which makes it more affordable to build out our sweet solar infrastructure, but also means we'll need to live in hobbit houses heated by our own flatulence and spend our free time holding hands and making awesome hemp sweaters for our bongs. On the other end of the scale, we keep carbon cheap, burn all the fossil fuels, and live in fortresses until we upload our minds to Facebook and let the robots figure out how to clean up the mess. I mean, I guess it could also be something in between those two extremes, but the point is, if we want to fix the climate, we just have to get better at turning sunlight into civilization.